welcome dear students now we learn in this lecture that is a deflection of a beam by unit load method now this is a beam abc this is having the internal hinge at the b this is a b c d this is a beam and is subjected to 10 kN per meter load so this due to this hinge this structure become the determinant structure otherwise this having the di is equal to 1 but due to this hinge this structure become the determinant structure that is if you find the di that is equal to what is r minus the 2 minus the h because here r is 1 2 and 3 minus 2 and hinge is 1 so minus 1 so it becomes the 0 so that is why the structure is a determinant structure now our aim is to find the deflection at the d deflection at d so first is to find the reactions so now simplify this beam so this hinge so this is a one reaction here one reaction here one reaction here and one reaction is here now if you take here sigma mb is equal to 0 the distance is 10 meter and this is 8 meter so what is here this is minus this rc into 10 then plus this 10 into 8 into this is a 10 plus half of distance is 4 to 14 so that is equal to 0 you get rc is equal to 112 so this is 112 now this reaction is here this is upward 112 this downward is 80 so this is again downward is 32 downward 32 so here is upward is the 32 upward 32 here is the downward 32 and here due to this force here is a, a moment that is 32 into 5 that is 160 now we want deflection at d so apply the unit force at the d now again simplify the beam same to here again we have to take the bend moment at here summation of mb is equal to 0 this rc is minus rc into 10 then plus 1 into 18 is equal to 0 so rc is equal to 1.8 so this becomes 1.8 so total load is 1 upward is 1.8 so again downward here is the 0.8 again here upward is the 0.8 again downward here is the 0.8 and this force create here is again the moment and that is the 4 so this is the calculation of the reactions for the unit load method we require to write the uh, equation bend to bend equation for this beam also and for this beam also so now here we know that that is the origin then span then limit then ei then m and here is a, a small m now for this now let me take for this section here suppose this is our this section this is our x from here what is the bend moment is now what is here origin is our is the d so right here origin is d now for this span is this c point so span is c d Now for limit is what? 0 to 8. 
zero to eight, and here e i is a two e i. So put here two e i. Now the equation of bending moment is what? This create a hogging bending moment. What is it? Ten into x into x by two. So that is minus ten x square by two. Now this is a unit to force at here. So again, this is our x. So again, this create the hogging moment. What is one into the x? So that is minus one into the x. Now we take the next section that is this here. So we take here. This is our section second for both the beam. Now this is our x here. So what is origin is a. So take here. This origin is a. Now span is we are writing for this beam. So it is a and b. Is a. This is B, this is A, B. Okay. So our span is AB. Now limit is zero to five. Zero to five. Now here I is equal to I. So put here I is equal to I. Now what is here? Bend moment is what? This is thirty two. So this thirty-two is create the hogging bend moment thirty-two into the x, and this moment create the sagging bend moment. So that is a plus one sixty. So here it becomes minus thirty-two into x plus the one sixty. Now at here now is again the our x is from here. Now this force create the hogging moment, so point eight into the x, and this create the sagging moment, so plus four. So this becomes the minus zero point eight x plus four. Okay. Now our third beam, this. Now again, this is our x. Here is our x here. Now, what is here? This is a bend moment. Is create hogging bend moment. What is here? Now, first we put the limits. What is here? Our x is from here, so is what is span is BC. The span is BC. Origin is our this point is B. This point is the B, so origin is our B. Now limit is from zero to ten. Now for this span, this I is equal to two I, and now the bending moment here. Now this force creates the hogging bending moment, so that is what minus thirty two. Into the x. Now at here, again this force create the point eight into the x. Again this create the hogging bend moment. So right here the minus zero point eight into the x. So now delta d is equal to integration zero to eight. What is here is minus ten x square divided by two into minus x, and here is a dx divided by two. Then plus integration zero to five. What is here minus thirty two x plus the one sixty. Into minus zero point eight x plus the four, okay. Into dx here i is e i, so e i. Then third one is this plus 
integration 0 to 10 minus 32 x into minus 0 0.8 x dx i is equal to 2i so 2 now if you solve this on calculator this total value is equal to 7893.34 divided by 8. This is the final answer. Thank you.